the, you're in the Dallas area as well, aren't you? Mom? No, I'm south of Detroit. South of Detroit? Okay. Yeah, we're about half an hour south. Okay. Hello, testing, mic check. It Hello, works. Okay. Cool, I'm trying out uh, Discord on my phone, see if I sound any better. You sound pretty much the same. Uh, you will notice that Discord on the phone has to be the active app if you're going to chat. Alrighty, getting ready to roll. No, you're not. You're not ready. I know you better than that. It's Monday. It's Monday, which means the internet's going to break. everybody this is laz and this is jack welcome to another edition of lunch with laz and jack where we interpret the news so you don't have to that's right where it's all laz's fault if you something it's always goes laz's wrong, fault it's always laz's fault i don't know even if i didn't do it i didn't do it well, <laughs> well your name is laz technical difficulties long that's right that's right Anyway, I, uh, welcome to the show, everybody. For the record, today is Monday, May 22nd, here inside Shroud of the Avatar. Uh, coming off uh, quite a nice weekend uh, here in the game. Well, the, the, there, there was a, a, a wedding, the Asa Wanda Absolutely. wedding. Asa I'm, married uh, his favorite gal, Sephora. Yeah, I, I, I'd love to say that it's like it was a beautiful wedding and everything, but I got there and then I had to go to lunch. Yeah, I know. Chewies <laughs> are more important. Ch hey, chips and salsa at Chewies is <laughs> what it's all about. I mean, I, I had some queso as well, so I was making sure that oh, so everything you had was taken. Cheese all, sauce. All, no, no, <laughs> not cheese sauce, queso, man. Queso? is cheese in yeah. Spanish. You had some cheese sauce. I'm sorry. Yeah, you, you don't know what you're talking about. You really, you may have been a, a chef, but, but it's not cheese yes, sauce. I'm very yeah. familiar with what queso is in America, in Mexican, Mexican yeah. restaurants. And See, and, and if you look at the in-game ch chat, Jack speaks truth. <laughs> I did not get the, the green chili sauce. Uh, uh, I, hey, I, Jack I, don't see. like spicy. We, we, uh, well, it depends on how spicy you're talking about. I, oh. I, Corpion uh, juice, I love their, spicy. This, yeah, 
Uh, I love chewy salsa fresca, which a lot of people say, man, that's too spicy. No, it's like, I, when I'm going for my vegetables, that's all I eat is chips and salsa. In Spanglish, queso is the container you keep your drugs in. What's that? <laughs> just saying, right? Well, on, in, in Spanglish, a cuerno is an AK-47, but it's like, yeah, oh, well, it's a horn. Yeah. But That's yeah, we, we can go for lots of that stuff. Uh, we, we had an interesting week. I mean, we have the update of the Avatar. We have Chris's daily work blog because there's a lot to go over there from Friday and from today. Uh, we got all sorts of information. And yes, I was a chef, Katrina. Surprise, surprise. He was really great at burning boiling water. No, no, no. You can't burn boiling water. You can scorch, well, it. You can scorch it really <laughs> well, but you can't burn it. <laughs> right. Okay, so are, are, are you ready for the update of the Avatar, number 228? Number 228. Oh, that is screen. 228 weeks of development and Friday updates. Unlike other games where I get maybe once a month for for their development stuff, uh, Portalarium has been game. nice enough. Support yeah. us, and we'll see you in a couple of years. Exactly. So th they did uh, give an update to the Moon Dial, including a brief 40-second long video. We're did you want to take a look at that video? The boys and girls, of course. Yes, we are. Absolutely. Are you ready to hit play? Yeah. It's sort of jumped Three, on its own. Two, one, play! So this is the new moon dial that's coming in. Uh, and you can see the large moon dial and the different constellations as they rotate in the sky. Um, I don't know whether or not the moon dial has actually been completely hooked up to the celestial system. It looks like it's spinning a little bit too fast. Well, in order to like track down some of those. Could have been sped up. Yeah. So, uh, but I love the fact that it points out all the different constellations if you click on them and do everything else. Um, that will give more insight into um, some of the sieges that are happening on the overworld map, as well as some other things. And since all the sky map was updated and parts of it were rearranged. That means Bow and Blood Goods and the astronomy group are going to be doing a ton of work to find out when alignments happen uh, with the planets as well as uh, what other theorizing that might happen when we do have a real all the stars aligned. Absolutely. And if they do. And so, of course, or, if anybody's going to get it right, planets align. that's going to be Bowen. Bowen's right on top of that track and all that. And, yes. And uh, absolutely lit list. Uh, Bo Bowen will uh, be on top of that. He will let them know exactly what the, the track is doing, how it's doing, whether it's aligning properly. And... Uh, that's one of the main reasons why we have what we have now. Bowen went, hey, yes. dudes, these things ain't going to align for 400 plus real years. Uh, we need to figure <laughs> yeah. something out. Uh, hello. Uh, oh, I got a hey, they, they, they want the game to be played for in 400 years. So yes, they, yeah. they wanted to make sure that there was some longevity. People had something to look forward to. Uh, this is what we need some cryogenic chambers to too. when they yeah. dig up the earth is uh, they're gonna find remnants of a system <laughs> we're gonna try to figure out how we can build some immortality stuff um, and I was gonna say that that ornate version of the moon dial that uh, is going to be on the add-on store and it will come in a variety of size sizes ranging from the tabletop to the giant version that you can walk under and they're due to make an appearance in release 42. Did I read correctly that they were going to make up to a keep size version? Um, giant version that you can walk under. I, I don't know if that's going to be keep size or not. I notes as I was reading them. I'll have to verify that. 
fiddles uh, and that's gonna be yeah I, well yeah you you and me and everybody else are gonna be able to walk under it yeah I, I don't know if they would make one that big though uh, to to all you folks over there on Twitch thanks for joining us hi yes everybody Eagle. welcome don't forget you can always join us and hang Get out inside of discord with us sitting there in the warehouse Yes. Eagles got and then a after that, swag. he's just giant again. I know his hands he's waiting on. for it. It's a it's a international shipping. It takes forever. It's in the warehouse. It made it. It was there. Oh, um, it's got a clear customs. I don't know. It's, uh, hopefully yeah. he'll chime us chime in here in a minute and let us know. But moving right along. So okay. Hold on. I, I found the line that you're looking for about the keep size version. All in all, I'm overjoyed by the effort and outcome of the ornate moon dials. They'll certainly leave they'll certainly leave an impression whether they end up as a small work of functional art displayed on a decorative den table, or whether they tower over you as you visit someone's majestic keep. I, I don't think there's gonna hmm. be a keep size one. He's just talking about the huge ornate moon dial. Okay, I know I um, saw that reference in there, so yeah. I was just yeah, gonna yeah, say that. So, so, it, so probably it, more like it a will city take size, up like the other stuff. Well, I mean, if you look at that video and the size of that, it's something that someone's gonna put in their keep lot just so that way you have some thing. Okay, um, then. We also have the uncloning of the Sequana Colossus, which is one of the adventure scenes. And inside of the Sequana Colossus, uh, seeing the Oracle sends you to a point along a quest line. Yay. What? Spoiler alert. And this is a post from uh, Sea Wolf. Sea Wolf. The map will feature scattered re ruins, a village oasis, part of which has sunken into a sinkhole, a bandit camp. Whether or not they are actual bandits is actually to be determined. And a nomad's camp. Some of the inspiration from the map comes from the Rub al Khali in Saudi Arabia and the Goblin Valley out in Utah. It's still a work in progress. He's making visual effects passes and it's hope they hope they have it in release 42 and you can look at some of those pretty party pictures yeah it looks pretty Pur nice from Pur what I'm pretty uh... pretty pictures yes and then then we get some of our uh, the energy vortex blood his his work awesome. out in blood <laughs> bay and the explorer extraordinaire and thank you, Eagle. Earl Grey Hot, aka John Card Jr., is reporting from the field once again. His la latest trek has brought him to the fabled Blood Bay, where he heard tales of a famous pirate captain that left a trail leading Arr. to a forgotten treasure. Our X does not mark the spot. That is just a T that has fallen on its side. <laughs> and. <laughs> <laughs> and there is going to be a puzzle out there and he could not figure uh, the function of the ruins along the northern beachhead um, and then so there is going to be a puzzle including some jumping that you have to do in order to get something jump, and then he found jump. a pirate hideout and more clues Dun, 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 dun. So there will be a chest and it will be dangerous to get to. It should be interesting. And then we have Barrick's article that we covered last week, especially considering it has Laz's picture, so we have to look at that for a good good two seconds Let's good. Leave we're that done. Up on um, the screen while we listen to Spiff uh, play the rest of this song, which is the, only the, about the rest six of the meatloaf long. song. Yeah, only yeah. about six yeah. minutes long. <laughs> Yeah. When we find my picture, we're going to be playing the full version of uh, In a God uh, Vida, drum to solo catch included. The uh, latest article, uh, Meatloaf explains what th what he won't do. Uh, he won't do that. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. What won't he do? <laughs> I, 
I mean, it's like, yeah. So free trial test continues. Uh, we're still in, we're in the, what, the second week of the free trial. And it's going on for another week. And don't forget, that is going to include the latest update with the changes to combat. And I hope everybody's been nice to the visitors. Although, it, one of the visitors did come out to the wedding on Sunday. Yay. Yes, now I come to find that that visitor was running around with uh, our own Arius yep, uh, yep. as he was streaming. Uh, Arius was uh, taking him around and giving him the tour, and that's how he wound up accompanying him out to the wedding this past Sunday, yesterday, out in Snow Carver. Yep. That's right, weddings and more by last. Is, uh, we actually did a wedding yesterday and uh, had a nice little crowd, nice little reception afterwards. The bride and groom were, were nice and happy. That's good. All right, I'm, as long as everybody's happy, you've done your job you well. Know, is, uh, and uh, for divorce uh, services, I, I missed the can, bachelor uh, party, though. You can see the uh, attorneys of Cynicist and Lazarus for divorce services, <laughs> and uh, we'll get you all hooked up later on down the line. <laughs> for a modest fee. <laughs> modest fee. You think the wedding uh, was expensive? <laughs> wait for the divorce. <laughs> uh, don't forget, uh, Summer Telethon Part 1 is going to be in a few short weeks, May 31st. So next week... And uh, I will be somewhere around there. That's going to be next Wednesday. Then on Friday, we've got meetings. Oh, man. So, oh, yeah. Friday show, next Friday is gonna, not going to happen. Well, uh, I was going to ask about that while we're <laughs> talking about dates and calendars. Uh, are we going to do a show Memorial Day? Or are we going to take uh, next Monday off? And uh, you, you, you know what? We might as well do Monday because Wednesday we're not going to have a show because that's going to be telethon. And then Friday I'm going to have to take off. Uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you I'm going to have a house full of people on Monday, so that may not be possible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. uh, probably not. When, when, I, I'll have a head count before the weekend, but uh, we may be okay. looking at. And uh, of course, that's okay. Uh, Wednesday, we'll have our own show anyway because uh, you'll be running the stream down at Port. Uh, I'll be making a community appearance as well as several other community members, as always. And of course, yep. uh, yeah. You can always stick your hand in front of the camera with you know, your little written notes like you do so you can talk to people. What are you talking about? <laughs> I, I have no clue what you're talking about. You got to bring your little post-it notes down with you. I, I, I threw them all away, and so now I just have my, my little pad. Oh, your little pad? With nothing on it. <laughs> my little pad. <laughs> Moving right along. Summer Telethon Part 1. Happening. They are letting the air out of Laz. So the hot air expirations are going. And the aeronaut items are all going to be expired. As well as a bunch of airships. Yes. And then... After that... Don't forget, donate five dollars, get lots of rewards. Yes, don't forget. There's a list of rewards. They're gonna be continuing with the theme. Uh, last telethon, they had all those uh, nice leaf items. This uh, telethon uh, looks like it's gonna be flame, flaming items. And there was a it's suggestion be put in. Uh, during the uh, hospitalers meeting yesterday as well, uh, somebody suggested that uh, one of the stretch goals should be a beach towel, since we have so much beach, and uh, a certain somebody Whoa. has pro-offered a beach towel up for actual physical rewards. Yes, and, and that's through Relics by Rilled. Um, so we end up with lots of things. Although I, I, I want to win the beach towel. How do I win that thing? Yeah, do I just know. hang out in Discord and chat? You, you got to be in Discord. I don't, know, I don't know if you get okay. uh, counted for being in the offices. 
Yeah, I, I don't think I get counted at all. Yeah, I don't think we ever get like, counted, but that's besides the No, we, we don't. No love in our general direction. Um, then after that, don't forget localization. Still ongoing, and if you want to help the devs localize the game to French, German, Italian, Portuguese, Russian, or Spanish, just contact Attenwood and say that, hey, I want to do this. And then our flash ale over the weekend was weapon shields and helmets. And that's pretty much all we're really looking at. You ready for the fun stuff that's actually going to be the fun conversations for today? Oh, I'm never ready for that. You know that. Okay, we will cover Lum's daily work blog. Is, uh, hasn't been updated in a week. Last I looked, I was going to say, uh, Lum, Lum hasn't done anything since... Uh, last week. Last Wednesday. Whining about Unity crashing at me to crash. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so the, the real important thing is actually what Chris has to say. Don't forget in release 42, we're going to have a ton of changes to combat as well as a new introduction of a heat system for the deck. And along with that comes his Friday update where he said that he is changing fire reach to fire speed. What? Now instead of increasing range uh, and uh, radius it will increase the range and the speed of dot ticks you said friend uh, is that like meth this is going on the list right the <laughs> return it list will go, it, will could go on the list. it could be good you have to you have to listen to what he has to say he also increased the fire the base fireball radius and now with 100 skill and fire speed, it was reach, players will have tick lengths of one and a half seconds instead of two. For those who don't think much, remember that fire takes most of its damage off the dot ticks and the limiting factors how far it will stack. For the average fire mage, this will work out to something like a 20% overall damage boost if they're willing to do some more casting. See, I'm, I'm, I'm confused by that. If you're doing more damage, that means you're expending more focus, which means that you're casting more and using more reagents. And it's a 20% overall damage if you're um, doing more work. I'm sorry, but if I cast any spell more, I'm going to inherently do more damage. No? Absolutely. I mean, you know. Well, unless you're casting Healing Touch. Yeah. <laughs> but every time I cast <laughs> I mean, Healing I Touch, I'm going to get more heal. Yeah? No? I mean, hey, okay. It's so you're casting, more casting in my soul. You're, you're casting Light over and over again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's an brighter. exception to the rule. It doesn't yes. get any brighter. Uh, no, but if you're casting more frequently, it's it's one where I, I don't know where he's coming up with the 20% overall damage unless he's talking about the tick length and it might correlate to that. But at the same time, um, considering it takes 3, 4 million XP in order to get fire reach all the way up to 100, and I don't even have 100 flame fist. Just remember what 20% is. Yeah. One So I, I don't one fifth more damage. But I, I, I think that we might really? find out that it's not twenty percent more damage overall, but with the increased tick rate it will it will do a little bit more damage. That's oh, smoke, and spell that. smoke and mirrors. Smoke and mirrors. Uh, Chris also has to make the note to self. Don't read external forums or websites. Yeah. Or Steam. Don't read forums in general. I don't know. That's about it. Yes. I've never done that. And, anything. yeah, and he's looking at load time issues, and somehow it looks like Release 42 got worse. <sighs> Which means there's probably something that hasn't been optimized at all, and like it's the game. Fine. Oh, yes. I, I really need to go find that. I need to really go find that Unity uh, 
best practices where they talk about levels of detail every single time. It's like the second thing you should do. Oh, that's in um, the basic instructions for crying out loud, I thought. Shh. No, it was a, a presentation by Unity. I need to go find that again. And then he also went to the Thinkery for a few hours with uh, his daughter. And he's trying to brainstorm on how to balance the heat system in the next 48 hours, a.k.a. before Monday. Oh, no. Oh, God. And he also <laughs> spoke where, with Star's wife about to? how he's doing. How did you get that far? Well, where are you? I was on note to self, and where are you now? Right after yeah. that, I did the looking at load time issues. Then I did the fact that he took Maxine to the Thinkery to recharge and trying to brainstorm oh, and how to balance well. the heat system. Scroll up one line. Uh, yeah. Okay. You're telling me, no, Justin. No, no, no. You're telling me. All I want to know is how do you shut it off? What did Justin tell you? Moving <sighs> right along. How to shut it off? <laughs> no, she, she she's telling me something. And he, he checked with Star's boss, a.k.a. his wife, and he's doing better, but he's still likely <laughs> down for a few more days. And then today's update. Star is still home. Sounds contagious. Oh. Um. Where am I? This is not my beautiful wife. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out how you're, you're cutting everything like. <laughs> what? I, I read it. I read it. Star you is still home. Every single word. Star is still home. With his, <laughs> with his nasty bug, so most of my day will be spent pretending to be Star. Just for less, uh, colon, oh, nasty bugs. Yeah, we're halfway through the show. Uh, Let's move it along. For those concerned, he is on the mend and getting well, but just managed to get himself really run down. So he's napping. It's nap time. And yeah, then he's maybe. triaging remaining issues for the team, which means he's triaging everything. Everybody needs some Band-Aids. And everybody needs lots of things. Uh, normalizing several values for the fist spells. Cooldown times were all over the place. And he's increasing the lock time by 0.2 seconds. And all should now have a cooldown of 8. And I thought... I, th I thought the heat system was going to allow you to spam those spells. Yeah, that's what he could. Oh, well, but, but, but if he's making everything have a fixed lock time, it, it's like... I don't get it. Well, and uh, we'll have to use uh, it five, uh, five times. Thinly and fix to push you into a random deck. Point two seconds is pretty fast, though. I do have to. Yeah, but uh, yeah. I guess that you can say and fix the heat, heat on locked version of a card affecting the unlocked focus costs, and working on fixing the discrep discrepancy of the subterfuge and moon magic versions of hide and move silently just Yay. for areas. That's areas. There you go. I'm super happy. Yep. One of Arius' big pet peeves actually making it up on the big board. What is that? What? That's okay. Go get some coffee. Which <laughs> one? <laughs> I was distracted. Shut up. Yeah. What do you say? What do you say? <laughs> I'm, I'm super excited about all that, you know? Well, it was well, a very, very valid point, and uh, of course, apparently you're the only person who actually really took a good look at that, and, uh, you know, that's how we get things fixed. Oh, yeah. subterfuge, okay. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, good deal. Yes, that was good. Uh, It'd be cool if it worked more better. More no, better. More better. More better. More better than Hawaiian For NPCs. What's, what's going on up there? He's, uh... People actually what? crafting up there, or people chasing right each other around back there, trying to they're, kill each other. They're crafting they're grab oh. ass. They're playing grab ass. They're, yeah. yeah, they're they're doing that too. They're playing naked tag up in the pavilion. They're doing something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. So I, I'm I'm still fuzzled by the heat system. Yeah, I, I don't think it's working. Really he's well got 48 hours, hours, right? 
48 hours he's gonna do it shit he's gonna jam well, that was over the weekend man yeah i know Boy, so yeah. heat system still has me slightly confuzzled it's not working as intended on the qa server no it is not well, I don't know about you guys, but I was able to give it a little testing and it uh, worked uh, just just as intended for the most part. Of course, uh, uh huh. I don't yeah, know. you're in your own little world again, Laz. No, well, uh, maybe, maybe if you all yeah. read the instructions on how they work, you would figure out that you only have to have one card in your deck in order to be able to use the heat system. Shh, I, I know that. that. Only one card in your deck to use the heat system. Absolutely. Hmm. Oh. Uh -oh. And, and wait, wait. Yeah. And, and you are required to have forty cards in your deck. No. What? Holy shit! Wait, wait. wait, wait. How, how many cards are required to be in your deck so it's you don't get slugged? Used to be twenty-three. Eighteen. What? Depends on your level. They have a lot. Twenty-two. Depends on your level. The less, the better, right? Is it dependent on level? I didn't know that. I know yes, it is. It is dependent on your level. Twenty-three. As I recall, yeah, oh, the right. starter deck is like ten spells in your deck. No, well, I, I'm <laughs> just as you level about up, it, it how many you had to many. have in your deck so you didn't get dealt slugs is what I Blank's, was talking Blank's about. Blank's about twenty-two. That's twenty-two. Yeah. Well, you just have to. It, it's really easy to figure out. You just go to Y and you go to new deck, and then you see how how many slugs you have. Yeah, that depends on level, you how you arrange them, and how many is locked. So, I require at least 23 cards in I, my deck. I said 23, didn't I? Hello? Nobody listens to Mine says zero. I heard, I heard. Everybody. Well, you have to drag deck. one card onto it. Yeah. I'd make it 24 on it. <laughs> I require 10. 23. The less, the better, I believe, though, anyway. right? No. And again, in 23, that's, yeah, well, it depends. If you're playing a full lock deck, you don't have to worry about that. You only have to have 10 cards. Well, yeah, deck. you don't end up with slugs, but yeah. yeah. But uh, again, a lot of that's being worked on. A lot of that's to be seen how it's going to be figured out. But uh, yes, uh, very interesting to see what uh, they're working on with that. And again, uh, if you so, have. So do we have any other songs besides Meatloaf? Well, yes, we do, know. but we don't. It's killing me. It's killing me. That's right. 18 plus 5 slugs. 23. Thank you, Katrina. That's probably the max. I have 10 on mine. You have 10 what? 10 slugs on mine. And how many cards deck. do you have in your deck? What? One. What? You have so one dressed. card, but 10 you're, slugs. See, that's how low level he is. <laughs> Get out of Look at who I am. He's Scrota, the wandering bard. He just Jack runs around and plays music. Give you anything you want. Five dollars. For five dollars. Five dollars. Got his coconuts on that deck. Scrota's barefoot, <laughs> too, today. Yeah, it's a lot better than being pantless like somebody. Yeah. It's one, one half of the equation. Right? One half of the equation there. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's 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 hiding behind the dog. I get it. Shh! Don't tell anybody. It's okay. It's for the it's for the dogs. It's for the dogs. Yeah. It's killing us. It's killing us. Yep. Stop! God dang it! Yeah. What about decay? Zero. Zero for decay. Is uh, Zep Zep's yeah. got his hound dog about protest in there? <laughs> shepherd. It's a shepherd. It's a shepherd. He, 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 he's trying to make sure that Katrina can't be seen. Katrina, <laughs> <laughs> wake up. Wake up, Katrina. Oh, he's up there <laughs> crafting teleport scrolls. Hey, get out of there. That's our job. <laughs> Banish him. Yeah, I, I sold That's a thousand right. scrolls last night. That was a nice little trade. What? How much? A thousand? Where'd, Where'd you do that at? Right here on the lot. Is there a discount? Here, let, let me well, show, I, let me I, show I, you. I sold a bunch on Saturday. Let me show I, you I didn't picture. Sell, sell anything on yesterday. I got. I saved the picture just for you. 
I, I don't need your stinking picture. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see it. I got a picture. It's got a finger. Guess which one it is. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm getting text messages and text messages and text messages. <laughs> Check a phone. Yeah, just just a small single sale. Was wasn't a whole lot there. Telephone. 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 Mm. Don't know what you're talking about. Moving right along. Is uh, so, so where where'd you sell that at? Right here on the lot. Mm, okay. What yeah. are these people doing with that many scrolls to begin with? That's what oh, I'm. Oh well, you know, I'm, 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 well, I'm in the wholesale business now. You know, it's a lot easier I, to I, sell that kind of scroll to one person than to have them wipe out my vendor and have to go through the whole process of restocking the vendor. Right now, I've got a thousand recall scrolls and like six hundred uh, teleport scrolls in my my stock. Yeah, I just just drop below a thousand teleports. You gotta get get on yeah. the stick, get some more. There's no discount in that. Right? Bring, sure if you're gonna bring that money to class, you need to share it with everybody. I, I I need to turn around and do my uh, wood scrap to wood pulp. Now I see wood Kill pulp them. out there selling for some stupid, stupid prices. Have you noticed that lately? Well, I, I have noticed that the public vendor is dropping down to less than three gold per. Actually, and, uh, that's not my experience. I've actually noticed some people trying to get more, but I think they've realized that uh, you know it's not selling. It well, what, the, the, the crappy thing about the public vendor is you have to remember you're paying 10% up front, and if it doesn't sell, you're getting one gold per. Boom. Bye. So a lot of people have lost a lot of money that way just by jacking up those prices. But if it if you'd like to sell your stuff and uh, you need to find a place to do that, you can go to my vendor on uh, at the NBNN lots. The guy standing on top of the chest is always willing to buy. I don't know. I didn't see any buy orders there last time I looked. What are you talking about? Do I need to add more? And uh, if, I, you, I probably if you don't want to deal with a vendor and you want to deal with an avatar, you come see Lance. Hey, hey, <laughs> no. Oh, boy, here it goes. Yeah, the, the other day, Laz was showing off the fact that he had like 20,000 uh, wood scrap or wood pulp on him. Oh, man, I, I made another 500 plus scrolls each last night, and I only dented my small pile of scrap. I still got a max pile of 32,000 plus. What is yeah, 32,767, I believe it is. <laughs> yeah, max whereas I, I'm working on the so single digits for for my pile. At least I sold you some like a couple of weeks ago. Or? Yes, you did. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you know, you that can go out to, uh, what is it, Goldfield. And uh, you, you mm -hmm. can, Whoever will give me more money for scrap. You can buy all those ingredients. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, make your own? Yeah. I'll Which take 10 gold per piece of scrap. Any offers? Any takers? No. Nope. Which one of you is the scroll master and which one's the gatekeeper? That's what I want to know. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think we're both Who the scroll the master. Oh, the I, think, I think that's coming. the problem here. There's no, nobody's the gatekeeper. We, we this both are the scroll man. master. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. Moving right along. What else we got? We got a shout out to uh, folks out there. Uh, we got to let everybody know about the uh, Airy Fund. Is Thex in the room by any chance? No, he is not. And uh, nope. I know that uh, remember, the that Airy announcement got for the, the first art contest going on out there. Wow! Boy, Dude, why is my game performing like that? <laughs> oh wait, maybe it's because I had the QA server open. Yeah, that's oh, nice. Tell us all the secrets. <laughs> <laughs> if you're hitching. 
as somebody goes marching in. There we go. Thank you. Ah. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, has his favorite song. Thank you for that. He loves this song. This I would listen to <laughs> over Stones. <laughs> I would listen to this over Meatloaf any day of the week. Well, I don't know about that. Yeah. Any day of the week over Meatloaf. Is, uh, and definitely over uh, well, a certain I some song. repeating notes. <laughs> yeah, oh. well, that's all smoke it, it's on smoke the water, on the water really is, is the same riff over and over and over until I mean, they're done smoke. with it. So, I mean, come on. <laughs> 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 right? Tell them, Zep. That's all it is. Oh, is- uh, yeah. Hey, well, well 15 <laughs> meters is still not 15 basic. meters, and 15 meters is still way too short for... Yes, Most now, instruments. of course, we, we ran into that problem at the wedding. Uh, we had a harpist uh, sitting there playing, and uh, nobody past the front row could hear anything. Uh, well, actually, I could hear it in the second row. Were Maybe you able it's because to? I had my volume all the way up. Is, uh, yeah, but I was sitting right in front of her, though. Well, you know, but that's people on the other there's... side of the aisle would not have been able to hear her. Yeah, the... That's why I moved from one side of the aisle to the other side of the aisle. I was like in the third row, but uh, I could hear it once I moved around. Yeah. And uh, I think, I I mean, that's where you would actually have to set up like four characters uh, around the seating and have everybody synchronized to play and then play. You know what I'm Which is a lot of work. Is that, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe we, you know, we should be. Uh, asking about using existing tech, you know, maybe linking a play, playing of an instrument into an ether vibration amplifier so that people can click on the amplifier and listen. I don't know. Maybe. And use it as speakers. Use, it, use it, right? it as an amplifier, man. Plug on in, you know. Give me Is that what? electric yeah, loop. Oh, yeah. God, oh shit, <laughs> man. No kidding. Good idea, Wes. Yeah. Is, uh... Or, or you know, yeah, you know, bolts, you know uh, we can probably do that wirelessly these days. Yeah. You know? Backpack amp, yeah, big nose. Backpack, Backpack amp. amp. There you go. You see, Zeb's thinking. Zeb's thinking. How can I run around? <laughs> your backpack for your portable speakers. Yeah, there you go. Hey. Amplifier. Portable amp. Now uh, I know yeah. that was another issue, Scrota. Um, have you seen anything or heard anything on the uh, fact that? While the bard is out in the party playing his instrument, he got his speed back, or is uh, he still just... uh, He's still walking. Still walking along as he plays. Okay, so I know that's something... I think that makes sense, though. I know that's something they said they wanted to address, and I was just uh, curious. If you want to run, you got to put up your your hoochamajig. Much like you're the guy from ACDC. (laughs) <laughs> you gotta wear shorts, man. Unless you're the unicycle you you, you bagpiper playing outfit? Scottish flaming School. bagpiper. That's right. <laughs> All right, moving Ooh. right along. Let's go ahead and get to that lovely thing we call the community calendar. That lovely thing called the community calendar that's available on the NBNN app, which is available on the Google Play Store, the Apple iTunes Store, or the Amazon App Store. Just do a search for NBNN. And if that's too difficult, you can always do a search for Shroud of the Avatar, and it will come up. And don't forget, the NBNN app has all the best links for all the best stuff in Shroud of the Avatar, including the link to the community calendar. And Trout Marketplace. And our uh, daily podcast. Yes, and our daily podcast. You can always catch us on the fly. And don't forget, the community calendar is an aggregate of all the available public calendars. And if you want your public calendar added, you need to message news at nbnn.info. News. And eventually, he will, he will get that added as long as it is a Google public. You're hitching public, against Not me. private. Oh, see, now it's working for me. Uh, oh, now he stopped. Thanks, Laz. Well, yeah. Yep. Don't, yeah. Don't know what the problem all the, is. All, the, all those interesting problem. pictures that you want possibly included in the NBNN calendar, those get sent to nudes at nbnn.info. That's right. That's right. And they will be properly processed by, and 
collated and categorized by none other than Scrota. We have a whole department who specializes in Jack. Yes. There are no pants required in this That's department. Right. Don't, Dick for, don't forget your submission could hey. wind up in the NBNN calendar. Yes, and we are going to try to get that done for the holiday season and make sure that everybody buys one. Indeed. And then, oh, it's going to be hilarious. I know. Uh, then <laughs> it's going to. I'm, I'm going to be laughing yeah. all the way. Is, uh, uh, people think we're joking here because they don't take us serious no, after time. Yes, we are happen. serious it's, about it, this. Cereal is it's going cereal. to be cereal. Super cereal. <laughs> yeah. Cereal, yeah. Super super cereal on this joke. Uh, don't forget all times on the public count or on the community calendar are Central Standard Time in the real world, but we prefer to refer to it as New to Britannia time. Today yeah. at twelves and sixes around the clock, there are two idiots yeah. that interpret the news, so you don't have to on a, on WRFB. WRFB on a little show called Lunch. With Laz and Jack. <laughs> Today at 4 p.m. on AR, Grumpy Old Gamer, he's going to be e taking the alternative route. Hopefully he's oh, back in action oh. after his uh, MOBO melted down a couple weeks ago. He was back in yeah. last night chatting with us. So Saying hi and back. trying to figure things out. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Welcome back, uh, GOG. At 7 p.m., don't forget that if you're interested in some role playing, you can always go out to Verit Chaos Ooh, and go man. to the pub of Extraordinary Thought. Yes, what what am I looking for? What what? Oh, role playing. Never mind. That was last night. Oh, oh yeah. Gosh. This is a weekly open role playing event located in the pub of Extraordinary Thought, which is nested in Don's Keep, just south of Brittany, and it's hosted by. And Artiana Zazariz. What? Yeah. 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 It, it, it's yeah. hosted yeah. 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 for this yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. And then after that, don't forget, 7 p.m. on WRFB. WRFB. This is going to be the 70s at 7. At 8 p.m. on AR is Monday nights with DJ Killy. Get it. At 9 p.m., the Order of Vengeance is hosting their guild meeting hmm. in the PvP town right. of PvP is... Vengeance. Vengeance. Show up and show your support for the Order of Vengeance. Hmm. That that final event of the name. Order of Vengeance? No. Why? I thought they changed to Order of something. I, I, I don't know. Order of pizza? Mm. Order of pizza? O order of pizza? Okay. Ooh, hang yeah. on. Pizza, yeah. pizza. Uh, and the fi fi final event of the evening is going to be Avoid the Noid <laughs> on WRFB. <laughs> WRFB. And that's the record room. Yeah, you remember Avoid oh, the Noid, yeah. don't you? Oh, yeah. Avoid the Noid. <laughs> I, I, you know, I've got a video game of that. No, oh, you you actually have that? Jeez, that's right. They did yep, come out with a video game. Annoyed. <laughs> yes, and that is our community calendar for this Monday, May twenty second. Monday, in Monday, Monday. Shroud of the Avatar. Shroud of the Avatar. Avatar. So when you said nestled inside Dawn's Keep, does that mean it's in someone's basement? No, nested means that it is a different player-owned town inside of Don's Keep. So in order to access Verit Chaos, you have to go into Don's Keep and then go find the teleporter to Verit Chaos. And of course, I'm seeing yeah, commentar I'm commentary on the crafting of scrolls. And uh, actually, scrolls can be made for much cheaper than that. And the max cost is a little bit more than that. But yes, there's still a hefty profit to be made. At that price, absolutely. I wouldn't really call it hefty, considering the amount of time that it takes. All right. Because I mean, if your if your time is absolutely free, then <laughs> yes, your cost is very low. What, what do I? But what unfortunately, I hey, hmm. the, unfortunately, when you're spending several hours crafting scrolls, 
I mean, that, that is several hours of your game time, and I think that you should be compensated for that. Count the wood pulp. What about the wood pulp? If it's only 100 gold if you don't count the wood pulp and you buy your uh, material. Talking about time, yeah. Actually, it's time. cheaper than that, but that's another story. I'd like to point out that you can't get killed by mobs when you're crafting scrolls either. So that's it's right. You're also, you're to... really also not doing anything that will actually gain any adventure or XP. Well, I got um, 75,000 <laughs> crafting Light experience ups. yesterday while I was making But scrolls. how much money you make per week? Uh, All this complaining. Yeah. Wait, wait, hold on. The, considering that if you look at the amount of gold that I have right now on me, all of that's going to be going back into reagents. Um, and it's like fancy artifacts. Uh, I don't own a single artifact. Yeah, see, I don't know what you're doing I'm wrong, man. You. What? Well, you're, you're still to the point where you're running that gold out to get your regents. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I've got a stockpile now. I've got a quarter million gold in, in hand. I've got all sorts of artifacts about. I'm spending money on. Yeah, how are you still that tight? Huh? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> he called them tight. Yeah, well, yeah. never mind. Maybe I shouldn't have said it in that terminology. <laughs> tight. Too late. Please, that asshole ain't been tight in years. Come on. Moving right Exercises. <laughs> Kegels for the ass. Yeah, kegels. Yeah, just so, so any easy. updates on a venue for SodaCon? Actually, I uh, was uh, just talking with Zeke, actually, last night. And uh, once the... Uh, Telethon comes and goes. Uh, he will be uh, getting us some updated information. Uh, we're waiting for the Telethon to pass before we uh, go ahead and Let's do anything like else at this point. Now, of course, mm. those dates are confirmed, so let's get that up on screen for everybody. Um, one of those things I believe I can put out to you folks, if I can find... Uh, I can find it if I can see today, which I can't do. There we go. SodaCon Austin 2017. The dates are confirmed, so uh, getting your reservations for flight and travel should not be a problem. Of course, we're going to be in the local Austin area. We're going to be uh, pretty uh, close to the offices one way or the other. Um, so hotel information, again, is not something that we are uh, working on at the moment. Uh, and the venue, again, as the uh, funds come in and when we find out what the story is with the Friday edition of the uh, day, um, we will have more information forthcoming. But the days are set. If you want to get your tickets, you can go to sodaconaustin.org and sign up there on the website. Uh, early bird tickets are gone. Uh, the price is now uh, fifty something dollars. VIP tickets for the uh, Lord British tour sold out, so none of those are available. That was a limited batch of twelve. Uh, twelve lucky folks are going to get to go down and get a personal tour of the studios from Lord British himself, and then uh, of course. Uh, the funding that we get is going to uh, pick the venue. So uh, as we get more information on that, we will let you all know. Move. Waiting for you. Yeah. Are you no. trying to figure out how to like bring up the sponsors now? Is No, <laughs> no. Is I, I, I'm out of focus for some reason over there today. So it's hard for me to see. Are you playing the same song? Yeah. It was hard for me to see that stuff. We need some uh, 31 Flavors by Sacred Reich. Because <laughs> variety is the spice of life. Variety. Yeah. All right. Anyway, moving right along. Come on. 
You can catch can us and replays throughout the day on WRFB Radio Free Britannia. You can catch the Deco Divas every Wednesday and Thursday night, respectively, at 8 p.m. for Unmedicated Schizophrenia Part 1 and Part 2. And, of course, the Wake Up Crew every Saturday morning at 7 a.m. Wake up, New Britannia, Wolf Tim and Celine, all sorts of great stuff happening on the airwaves right here on WRFB Radio Free Britannia. GrimyTraders.com. If you want to start your own auction, go to GrimyTraders.com and you too can become an auctioneer. Uh, it's free to sign up, it's free to list, it's free to use, it's free. The good folks over at the Ockenshire and Markham Farms, official sponsors of NBNN, want you to check out their wholesale cotton reagents, vegetables, ale, and much, much more located in Dawn's Keep, just south of Central Brittany, and also on Shroud Marketplace for your shopping convenience. Our good friends and family over at the BMC want you to come check out Black Rock Cove and check out all the vendors on Market Road, or come on in and set up your own vendor space. Space is now available out in Black Rock Cove, located in the Quell region right next to the Etzer Mines for your mining convenience as well. Jacob White, SodaMap.com. What more can I say? SodaMap is truth. Lord British said it himself, so much so they put it in the game. Of course, I'm going to update all you folks. When a new scene is added, it's going to take a little while for Jacob to get out and map that afterwards. So uh, we understand that there are some new scenes out there that are missing from the map. Bear with them. It is a player-run project, folks. Of course, then over at Spyrilled. What's that? I said he's literally a cartographer. That's right. And, of course, Ben over at Relic Spyrilled. For all your licensed Shrouded Avatar swag, if you're looking for t-shirts, hats, patches, bumper stickers, and much, much more, including the new beach towels coming out, go check out relicsbyreal.com and get your licensed swag. And if you want to save a little money when you check out, use the promo code NBNN when you check out at Relics by Real, and you'll save 10% off of your purchase. And last but not least, the good folks over at the Shroud Marketplace. Shroudmarketplace.com for all your virtual vendable needs. Do we have 50 yet? Uh, not yet. It's still still close to 50 vendors. I'm 48 just waiting holding. for a few more. It's 48 and holding for now. But don't forget, vendors. Shroud Marketplace is the place to go buy or sell anything shroud of the avatar related each shop is and their own player they're responsible for setting their own prices that includes things that you can find on there like the mounted dragon head which did suffer or it did have a massive price reduction uh i don't know the actual drop rate on the dragon head if it's, it's a pristine dragon head one in every two or two percent more but Oh, two percent for that drop for there's, a dragon head a is pretty there. low. I I know the I know the uh, uh, the neck bone is a one in forty drop. It's a big purple head. Whoever, yep. whoever, big purple whoever head. the hilarious <laughs> jokester is down at the offices. That's what she hey, said. <laughs> you, you just need to put some blue balls underneath it, and right. I'm sure then you'll right. got a really happy, happy good times. Uh, don't forget, anything confused. can be bought or sold on Shroud Marketplace as long as it's game related. Artifacts from Dread Pirates Gold, game gold from Dread Pirates Gold, Sater's Stinky Sewer Shop, Crowns Sater's of the Obsidian, Teleports and Recall Scrolls that I'm selling, uh, Laz's Weddings and More, Skirta's Music Service thing. I mean, anything game related can be bought or sold time. on Shroud Marketplace. And if you're interested in becoming a vendor, you can do so just by registering for an account and then clicking on the button that says vendor registration. Then you can start selling your stuff out on Shroud Marketplace. And you know what? And uh, I was just told that the Aussie Strike Force dropped the dragon over 50 times without a head. Really? 
Yes. So the drop rate on that was greatly reduced, so it is going to be a rarer and rarer item. So, yes. Uh, don't forget anything game-related. Bought or sold on Trout Marketplace. And if there's something out there that you want to sell, you are more than welcome to do so. Uh, just go to ShroudMarketplace.com, register for now, vendor registration, start selling your stuff. That's right. And now it's it's time to thank the most important people around here, and that's you guys. You guys. Yeah, especially, especially those that are watching on my oh, channel, especially if they, 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 they do cheer. I just had Burger King. Sit, sit, send me pennies. Yes. Send Jack a couple <laughs> pennies. <laughs> buy, buy his right. daily cheer, kolaches. Cheer, cheer, cheer on now. my channel. Yay. Help, help, help pay for that Chewy's addiction, that chips and salsa oh, addiction chips that he's and got. Sauce. Yeah. And that cheese sauce Actually, had to pay addiction. For it's not cheese sauce queso man yeah yeah all right that's right anyway we gotta thank you guys for joining us here today don't forget coming up this thursday we have release 42 coming up 42 <coughs> no! and uh, all sorts of goodies supposed to be happening there uh, we don't have any pre-release notes due to Star being out sick, but we couldn't tell you about nope. those anyway till Wednesday, so hopefully we'll have those by Wednesday. Meantime, we're going to get out of here. I'm Laz. I'm Jack. And we are NBNN. Stay tuned for more news, sports, entertainment, crazy wild happenings. The latest hijinks and shenanigans right here on WRFB. Have a great day, everybody. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching that on Twitch, YouTube, or listening to WRFB. We could do the show without you, but then it would be just two guys sitting around doing nothing. Nothing. Or nothing.